VirtualBox on my personal PC wasn't cutting it. I needed something reliable, flexible, and always on. So I set up Proxmox. Proxmox is an open source server virtualization platform that allows users to manage virtual machines and containers. Now Proxmox is pretty much a Debian based operating system, so it can be installed on any hardware that can run Debian. For my hardware, I chose the B-Link SCR9 Pro AI Mini PC. This came with speakers, USB 4, Wi-Fi 6, and a built-in mic. Now the packaging from Amazon wasn't the greatest. However, I did not mind um, the B-Link's packaging. It was pretty good. And once I was able to get it out, I was really surprised by how good the material on the B-Link itself was. I really love the metal. It almost makes me feel like it's a, uh, uh, a mini Mac or the Mac PC. Now this mini PC came obviously with the instruction manual, the power cable, and a very helpful HDMI cable. I ended up having to connect this to my TV upstairs, so this was very helpful. And then this is just a shot of the ports um, to USB, Ethernet, HDMI, display port, USB, USB-C, and then on the front we got the power, USB-C, an additional USB, and even a, a jack. And once I got all the hardware set up and in place and hooked up to my router, I needed to download the ISO from the Proxmox uh, website. And I saved that ISO to a good location on my computer that I could always come back to because I needed to use um, an application called Rufus to format a USB disk or a USB device so that I can make that USB device bootable and plug that into my SER9 Pro. Now, I wasn't able to actually capture the screen where it shows Proxmox, but this is where I chose um, the Proxmox installation using um, SF7 to interrupt the boot process. And being able to capture that with the Camlink 4K was very difficult um, because I do not believe that it was sending video uh, information at that point in time. So I had to do a lot of this off screen. However, to complete the installation, I chose the um, graphical install and that allowed me to easily run through the um, user agreement, which is what you see here and then choosing the storage of how I want to complete the install. And then this is where I wasn't able to capture everything. It's just choosing your email, the username, login, the uh, time zone, which I set that was according to my network. And then I just set a static IP address and then you get a summary that comes up and it's going to tell you what's going to, how Proxmox is going to install. It'll install all the packages and then it'll give you an IP address and the port that you can connect to. And once I connected to that port, I was able to access Proxmox, Proxmox and that's where I get into the point of, I'll explain in the next video, how I actually uploaded the ISOs to Proxmox so that you can create the virtual machines.